Hey, weight loss surgery peeps. First, I want to show you something. Those are geese. Yeah, those are the geese out at the shoreline where we walk. And I'm in the car right now preparing to go back home. And among other things, I've well, for one thing, I've forgotten to shout out to a bunch of people who have been inspiring me, worrying me, and just, um, you know, being there for me and being in my life. I, I want to do that while I'm here, but I also want to say that this is a huge non-scale victory for me. Before my weight loss surgery, I really had started to be a stay-at-home hibernator. Um, I had had three serious falls and a back surgery, a knee surgery, and an elbow surgery, and over a period of time had really become not just morbidly obese, but disabled. Um, and it was having my doctor tell me that, and sorry for the wiggling, I'm holding my camera because I'm the only one here, which is the victory. Anyway, I was told by my doctor that I would be um, in a wheelchair and an early death, and that was that galvanized me to consider weight loss surgery, having been in denial about my weight for a long time. Um, it was a big deal to even weigh myself, discover I was almost 280 pounds, and look into weight loss surgery. And once I found out about it I, and did the research, I couldn't have my vertical sleep gastrectomy fast enough, people. I wanted my life back. And once, I think we all share the fact that once we get out of that denial, some of the things that rush in are hard. I mean, it was emotionally painful, not just to realize what part weight had played in my life, but also to kind of figure out what part it's played in everyone's life as I became part of the community, seeing some of the painful things and some of the ways that it had run our lives. That's painful, that's hard, you know, and it made me love all of you all the more. Anyway, um, I have problems walking, a little bit of trouble walking still. I use a cane when I do these three mile walks. I'm a little concerned about falls still because I have a balance issue. I still have some physical issues, fibromyalgia, lower back, nerve damage, knee problems. And so normally on our walks, I've got my cane and my husband has the dog and I do take the dog now and again when he's taking the many pictures he loves to take here. Um, but I'm not that comfortable walking the dog on my own because he, you know, he'll pull ahead suddenly and I'm a little worried about my balance. But today my husband is doing a five, count it, five hour engagement portrait for a wonderful couple in San Francisco and over in Oakland. And what that meant for me was possibly not walking. Well, people, you know that I'm addicted to exercise. So I, I really didn't feel comfortable with that happening. And I also had a little... A look at the fact that I'm still letting some of those feelings about fear govern what I do and so what I decided to do is come out here and walk anyway so I loaded my baby boy Carter in the car and drove out here and we just completed our three mile walk and what I did was I held my cane and the leash with one hand and that left a hand free um, you know, to reach out, steady him, grab him, drink my water, um, and it worked out well. I picked a time when there weren't likely to be many other dogs here, and that, that's, that's my non-scale victory. I did my walk alone with the dog, and that's a huge thing for me. Um, I want to shout out, for one thing, I want to tell Sally how much we love her and how we have been following her journey with the plastic surgery um, with great interest. It's interesting for me because when I first started this journey, I just thought, no way am I ever having plastics. And that's before I even knew that I wasn't going to have a whole lot of loose skin. But you know, now that I am three, and I'm saying three pounds from gold, people, because I'm 163.4 today, um, I find that, like the amount of skin I do have on my stomach, bugs the heck out of me. And yes, I would consider having it removed. And I understand where Sally is coming from. It's like we did this amazing thing. And, you know, I don't want to worry about that showing. I don't want to have to squish that in. I want to wear the size that the rest of my body is. It's interesting because I wouldn't have ever thought that about me. Um... So, love you, Sally, and can't wait to hug you, hold you in my arms in Vegas. I'd be hard to let you go, to tell you the truth. Rosemary, ditto, we were so worried about you um, 
during what happened and, and the fact that you have such a positive attitude and a stiff upper lip when you lost so many things I mean lost your computer and you're trying to soldier on and yeah I too know how important the YouTube and the Facebook community is and for you to have been disconnected that way and the love that you're showing to your neighbor right now taking care of her I mean you know you're just a superstar uh, we love you with all our hearts, um, and your sister, actually my sister, because now that I'm uh, officially one of, one of the three sisters, um, your one, Count Connie, your one year anniversary meant a great deal to us. I can't believe it's been a year, and actually my own one year anniversary is closing in on May 9th, that's why I really want to get to go. Uh, so many more of you, I mean, Kim family forevermore two weeks till the baby I can't believe it I better get that gift that I meant to send months ago off so it's there in time um, so many more of you I feel just lame the people on bus and loose I love you each and every one of you and we want I want to have a bus and loose meetup in Vegas um, I'll think of more of you it just I feel really remiss that I come here and don't mention how much you all mean I mean uh, your struggles, your journeys have inspired and and uh, motivated me every step of the way. And, you know, the fact that you're here is everything to me. Um, and I can't wait to meet a bunch of you in Las Vegas. It's starting to feel real now that I've found a roommate to share expenses since my darling can't go and manage to pay for my flight with free miles. Um, it's onward, onward to the mother of all meet and greets. Now I just have to figure out how I can get some style and duds together with no money to show off my skinny bod. Anyway, uh, I'll be back soon, but I, I just, you know, felt so great about this walk that I wanted to share with you how much that meant to me. And as ever, I want to be here for you. If you have questions, concerns, or you want to know anything, I'm your woman. Bye-bye. I'll be back soon.